So if you don't want to miss that video, remember to smash that bell. And in the comments down below, just put two minors. So it has been a little while since we have reviewed a new Helium Miner here on the channel. Well, don't worry, because in today's video, I got you. Helium Mart has sent over this Helium Miner from Mary IoT, and we are going to unbox it. We are going to review it. We're even gonna connect it to the blockchain and if you stick around to the end of the video, well, let's just say I have another surprise for you as well. So we're gonna check out Helium Mart. We're gonna dive into this Mary IoT Helium Miner, plus so much more. I'm your host, Tech Hustler. Oakley Dokley, welcome to another video. And if it's your first time here, my name's Tech Hustler. We mine cryptocurrency here. We state crypto. We love anything passive income, and we even review some websites and applications that you can start using right now to make a little bit of crypto on the side. You know what? You can also make some PayPal gift cards and so much more. So if you like that, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And while you're down there, hit that like button too. That's the number one thing you can do to support my In today's channel. video, we're going to unbox, we're going to review, and we're going to hook up the Mary IoT Helium Miner. But first, I have to let you know that this Helium Miner was sent to me absolutely free from the Helium Mark. This is not a sponsored video, but I do use a referral link if you wanna purchase one where I will make some commission and you actually get to save 3% as well. And of course, as always, I have to let you know that this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. This is for educational and entertainment purposes only. So Helium Mart reached out to me a few months ago and they asked if they could send me a couple Helium Miners for me to do an unboxing and review. They sent me the Milesite Helium Miner and I'll put the review right here, which is sold out everywhere and very hard to get right now. And then they sent me this Mary IoT Helium Miner that we're going to unbox, review, and hook up today. Now, Helium Mart, they also sell, you know, accessories for Helium Miners. And of course, it's hard to keep anything in stock with Helium. And if you want to purchase anything from Helium Mart, you can use my code TechHustler for 3% off. And they also have IoT devices, but once again, supply chain issues. And it's just really hard to keep anything in stock when it comes to Helium mining. And here is the Mary IoT Helium Miner. And just like I said, with things being hard to keep in stock, when I started recording this video, this was available for the US and the EU, but the US is now out of stock. And I spoke to the CEO of Helium Mart, and they told me as soon as they get them in, they list them here on the website, and then they are gone like that. So if you're in the United States and you are interested in getting a Mary IoT Helium Miner, I would suggest bookmarking this page and just checking it daily to see if any miners are in stock. And of course, give them a follow on Twitter. They're gonna keep you up to date there. And you know, as always, if you're on Twitter and not following Mr. Tech Hustler, who are you even following? So back to the Mary IoT Helium Miner. Well, first off, it's gonna be $499. Remember, you can save 3% if you want to use my code TechHustler, and that's gonna be excluding tax. Now, you can pay for this, I believe, yes, right here with USDC, and that's gonna be an ERC20 USDC via Coinbase Commerce. And you can also do a direct wire transfer. And as far as delivery time, the one they have available for pre-order right now is gonna be for the EU, and that's gonna be shipping out in March. And you're gonna have all your shipping updates right up here. And just a few of the specifications of the Mary IoT Helium Miner. We have that Rock Chip RK3566 Quad Core Cortex CPU. We have four gigs of RAM, Let's see, a DC 12 1.5 amp power supply, 
and I believe the antenna right here is a 2 dBi antenna and I like that they include an accessory not only can you just put the antenna on the back of the miner but they have a magnetic antenna base as well and that's pretty much going to do it for the specifications let's go ahead and unbox review and connect this thing to the blockchain Oh, Glee Dokley, here it is. This is the Mary IoT Helium Miner that was sent to me from Helium Mart. Now, let's go ahead and let's open this up. I'm not going to lie, I have unboxed this, obviously, so I can shoot a little video. But right here, we have the Mary IoT. Just some quick install instructions. We are going to hook this miner up at the end of the video, so don't worry. I got you. So anyways, here is the miner. Let's go ahead and pull this out. First impressions before I get it out the bag is this is a nice size. You know, this is pretty compact. It is sleek. It is lightweight. It is plastic. Keep that in mind. But let's go ahead and let's look at everything inside the box. Now, we're going to have our DC 12 volt power supply right there. Bada bing. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and take that out. Bada bing, bada boom. That's your 12 volt power supply. And then we have our magnetic antenna base. And honestly, this isn't a very expensive item or anything like that, but I am very excited to have this just because the way that I'm set up over here. And I'm gonna show y'all here that, uh, I'm gonna show y'all that here in a second. And then last, we have this 2DBI, which is pretty thick, I'm not gonna lie. This 2DBI antenna, and I am the, in the US, so we're gonna be using that 915 megahertz right there. Now let's get this stuff out the way, and let's take a look at the miner itself. Once again, this thing is sleek, it's lightweight, it's actually pretty thin. That might be maybe a little over an inch, maybe an inch thick. And you know, obviously that's gonna light up right there. We're gonna have some a few indicators right here for power, internet, Wi-Fi, and LoRa. <laughs> and then here on the back, we have our USB, we have our card right here, we have our ethernet, and our 12 volt DC power supply. And of course our antenna is gonna go right there. So that's pretty much all there is to see with this uh, helium miner, you know, it's just a sleek piece of hardware. Let's go ahead, we're gonna plug this in and I got a little surprise for you and then we're gonna hook it up to the blockchain plus so much more. All right, and as you can see, the miner is plugged in and it's just getting powered on. As soon as you plug it in, it's gonna take a couple minutes just to cycle through the power settings. Now, the first thing you wanna do, and this is gonna be with any helium miner, is put your antenna on first. That's gonna be the first step. You have to put on that antenna before you power up your miner. And yes, we are powered on and we are running on ethernet. At first, you're gonna have to run on ethernet. Then after you set your miner up, you can put it on Wi-Fi. Now, this is actually an interesting little area I have right here. You can see I have my Mary IoT Helium Miner right here on my, uh, my window sill, if you will. And this is like my IoT Center. I also have my LMX Pro right here mining some crypto as well. And we're gonna have a video update on this soon because y'all know I sold all my LMXC. So I'm running off 40% minor health. So hit the bell so you don't miss that video. Now, speaking of don't miss a video, remember I told you I had a little bit of a surprise here. So not only do I have my Mary IoT Helium Miner right here on my windowsill, I also have the Nebra indoor helium miner here as well and i've gotten a lot of questions about you know can i have more than helium more than one helium miner in um in one particular location and you know what for the helium network it's not a great idea because you want to spread out that coverage but it does work you're still going to be able to mine so we're going to do a little experiment 
I have both of these miners hooked up here and I'm gonna re register this helium miner to the same address and obviously have my antenna at the same height. And then maybe in a couple days or a week or so, we're gonna do an update video and just say, um, you know, see what happens when you have two helium miners in the same location. So if you don't want to miss that video, remember to smash that bell and in the comments down below, just put two miners. All right, let's go ahead and let's get this thing syncing to the blockchain. Oakley Doakley, so our helium miner is plugged in and powered up and I just had some pre-workout, so I might be getting a little hot and sweaty right now. But the first thing you're gonna need, and you're always gonna need this with your helium miners, is the helium app. Now I can't do any screen record with my helium app, so we're gonna have to go this route right there. But here is the Helium app. Let's go ahead and open that up. And then we're gonna just gonna add a Helium Miner like, you know, you would do with any other Helium Miner. So let's go ahead and get logged on. Bada beam, bada boom. Now, I used to have 10 Helium Miners. I had some issues with my partner and um, he got over on me. I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest. So now I only have three Helium Miners. But to add this Mary IoT miner, all we're gonna do is hit that plus button right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. Now you're gonna scroll through and you're gonna pick which Helium miner we have. And we have the Mary IoT miner, which is gonna be right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And of course, you know, give it a, a good place with a view. We're gonna skip that. We're gonna just click, I understand that. Yes, we are powered up. Let's go ahead and hit that. Now we're going to scan for our hotspot. I think my Bluetooth is on, yes it is. Okay, so now we're gonna search for that hotspot and, it, and here it is. So once your hotspot, if we can get it on there, I am so sorry, by the way. But anyways, just trust me, no, we're gonna get it on there. We're gonna get it on there. There we go, there we go, that's my hotspot. Bada bing, bada boom, I told you this was gonna be a bit challenging. So now we're connecting to that hotspot. So this should only take a few seconds and we should find out the name of that hotspot. And you know, like I said, we do have more than one hotspot here, so smash that bell so you see the results, you know, what happens when you have more than one hotspot at one location. Now, we're not going to use Wi-Fi. We could switch over right now to Wi-Fi, but um, right here at the bottom, we're going to go ahead and use Ethernet instead. Now, yes, ask for permissions. We're going to set up that location. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go a step further and I'm just gonna type the location in because that's the same thing I did for my other miner. So let me go ahead and put that in right now. Let's see. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Now I'm gonna click set my location. And now I need to set up my antenna. Trust me, the antenna setup is in there. Once again, I am so sorry. So the antenna is a 2 dBi antenna, and I already know we are four meters up, so that is done. I'm gonna hit the next button right there. And there is a location fee of 10 bucks. Whenever you want to add a location, it will be 10 bucks. But with Mary IoT and most helium miners, you're gonna get the first one to two locations absolutely free. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click register my hotspot and it is as simple as that we are hopping into the blockchain and we are just waiting in line so that's pretty much gonna do it at least from the app right here we're gonna see you again in a couple days and I'm gonna let you know how we are mining with two helium miners in one location that's pretty much gonna do it for my Mary IOT helium miner if you want to stay up to date here is the miner name, if we can get it in. It's Small Cotton Stork, and you can see I have been added to the blockchain, 
And in the follow-up video where I tell you how much I'm making with two helium miners in the same location, I will let you know how long it takes to sync to the blockchain. So once again, that's going to do it for the Mary IoT Helium Miner, and that's going to do it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss a thing. Happy mining. Peace.